Attention all Roblox animators. Are your characters moving like they're stuck in a block of cement? Well, put down the hammer and chisel because we're about to give them the gift of movement with inverse kinematics. Get ready to turn your characters into true dancing machines and make sure your game animations go from meh to wow in no time. So grab your mouse, a bag of chips, and let's start turning those robotic statues into dancing masters with inverse kinematics. Now before we get into this, I'm going to let you know now that this only works with R15 characters. Anyways, the simpler way of doing it. So we're only going to be doing the R15 today. And yes, this does work with custom characters, but you do need to make sure that there is a custom wrist, uh, wrist attachment in your character that I'll go over later. But anyways, to start... All we have to do is inside of the avatar tab right up here on the top, let's click on that, is go over to the rig builder over to the right slightly, and let's click on this, and then down here there's a list of all the R15 rigs that you can choose. There's the block rig, mesh rig, man rig, woman rig, etc, all the other stuff. So I'm just going to add in a block rig for now, I think this one looks pretty cool, going to rotate them around a little bit. Now there are two things we can do with inverse kinematics. The first one is in the game and the second one we can do with the actual animation editor right here. Uh, we're going to save that one for last just to keep the suspense on you. But now all we have to do is inside of the dummy right over here all we need to do is just add in a script right here. And in this script we can just write local character will be equal to script.parent, so we're getting the like dummy character. Now we need to actually make a new inverse kinematics control. So I'm just going to say local IK control. This will be equal to instance.new IK control. Now the instance.new, it really just creates a new item of whatever we put in these quotation marks. And we're putting a IK control in there, so it's going to add in a inverse kinematics controller into our works, well, into our game really. But we need to set the parent of that IK control to our character. So IK control dot parent will be equal to character, and then find first child, and we just do humanoid, just like that. And for the IK type. We can just do IK control dot type, and this will be equal to enum dot IK control type dot position, and then we can do IK control dot end effector. Now this is going to be our part that we want to rotate and move and everything. So I'm going to say character find first child left hand, and I want to set this to true. And then down here we can go down to our IK chain root. So let's go ahead and grab that right here. And this will be equal to character find first child left upper arm. And we're going to set this to true as well. Now all we need to do is create a target. So I'm actually going to go over to our workspace by clicking on this little panel right here. And then inside of our workspace, we can just click on the little plus to the next of it. And then this will open and we can search for a new attachment. Attachments must be paired into a base part. So I'm just going to put it in the actual base plate here. And it doesn't really matter where you put it for this. So we now have a new attachment in our base plate. I'm going to go over in the model and you can actually just select this move tool right here or you can press control and two at the same time and that will move our attachment right over here now if you click off you can easily click over here again and find it anyways now we have our attachment right here I'm just gonna put it in front of his left arm about there that's fine to me and then inside of our script again just by clicking up here all that we have to do is set our ik.target and this will be equal to workspace.baseplate.target not target.attachment I mean to say and then this is our script I believe now when we X off the script the everything will disappear and we're back in the workspace but in the home tab you can go over here where it says play 
and I'm just gonna click on run instead of play there's a little drop down menu all right so one thing i forgot to mention is that inside of our dummies humanoid right here we actually need to make sure we put in an animator and that will allow the humanoid to actually be animated in the game and just do all this stuff so now if we click run we should see our character start to reach for that attachment as you can see it did but if we go into our workspace then our base plate over here and click on our attachment we can move this attachment around and the hand will actually start to follow us now this does work the best with arthro characters so i should have been using that but i chose the dummy instead so but as you can see it's just kind of fun to mess around with now i'm not professional with inverse kinematics just yet and i'm still learning the basics of it but right now this is how you can just kind of control it in your world i'm not sure what I'll be useful for just yet, but it's kind of cool to mess around with. Now for the second thing we can do is if we delete the script inside of our dummy here and get rid of the animator in our humanoid, if we go into the avatar tab again and then click on the animation editor, now we can click on our dummy here and I'm just going to name it inverse kinematic. Just IK for short, and I'm going to click on create. Now, we have our dummy here, but if we were just to go ahead and animate this, it'd be like the normal animation editor. So we don't want to do that. What we do want to do here is just right where it says IK under here, just click on that, and a little window up here should open. All you have to do now is just click on en enable IK, and this whole list of body parts will show up. Now just because it's enabled doesn't mean you'll be able to go ahead and animate it right away. Before you actually go ahead and click on any of this, don't. All you have to do is just click over here. That's how we actually get the IK to work and it will work great. So I'm going to start at this little frame here and as you can see, since I have the left upper, upper arm selected up here, I can go ahead and just move this and it'll move the entire arm with it realistically. This looks the best with Arthro characters again, but it does work. Now it does take some getting used to and it is a little frustrating at first just to make sure you keep on clicking over here to animate things. But yeah, it gets, you get used to it after a while. That's what I can say. And sometimes it doesn't work, I don't think. Where, okay, it's working right now and that's pretty good. But say I were to grab his right hand and go up on the green, as you can see his hand will just move away. I'm not sure why that is or how to fix it or anything. It won't work on like either any of the axes or anything. I wouldn't try animating his hand just for now, but if you wanted to afterwards with the animation, you can just go through with the normal animation editor and clean some things out, up if you wanted to. Now another thing that's cool about this inverse kinematics thing is say that our base plate was rotated. I'm just going to rotate this a little bit like that then if i put our dummy right here and just did the animation editor again enabled ik again is that as you can see his legs will kind of like bend to the shape of it that's what makes it realistic about it because if you didn't have the ik his legs would go through it or it'd just be a huge mess so if i were to grab his upper torso and just yeah, another thing that happens is sometimes it'll do this. I'm not sure why it does that. I'm not sure how to fix it. And what really stinks is the only way I have found out to fix it is just to delete the whole dummy and start over. For this, I'm just going to make an Arthro character real quick. And in the animation editor, click on it, name it, enable IK, so known as inverse kinematic. But as you can see with this one, and I grab the left upper arm and I can move it. You can see it like kind of moves the whole arm and it does it in a weird but kind of cool way. And I think it's pretty fun. Yeah, this is how you can make decently realistic animations, I suppose. If you want to know or leave any other ideas or tutorials, you can also leave that in the comments down below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to show your support. You can also like the video. So one thing I forgot to mention is that if you are using a custom character, 
it's the right wrist rig attachment that you have to add to this you also have to add a left wrist rig attachment yeah it, it's located where the wrist joins the forearm or the lower arm so make sure you add that for this to work mm -hmm.